let's make paper with inclusions. So I'm going to add some plant material to my pulp. I've just put some cotton pulp in here. I blended it and I'm going to add the plant material in. Now, after I blended the pulp, you can experiment. Paper making is like cooking. So there's no one way to do things. Uh, but I'm just going to pop off these little seeds or leaves. I just collected these outside here. It's winter, so they're they're dry. Uh, plant material can do unanticipated things. So it might bleed into my paper. It might not. We'll see what happens. The amount of inclusions you put in will change the look of your final sheet. So I could not blend that. I'm just going to give it a quick blend. <laughs> And then I'll pour it into my deco box. It's quite thick. I'm going to add a little more water. And that'll just give me a little more drainage time. So I'm just kind of making sure the pulp gets everywhere in here. And then I will lift up, shake. And there's my sheet. I like that. Um, it's spread out, but again, I could have double the amount, triple the amount. For I accidentally different. dropped the sheet and it uh, got messed up, obviously. So a really simple uh, way to remedy that is to just put it back in the in the water. You've got all your pulp there, and I can just try again. So here's how the paper with the inclusions dried. Super fun. You can see some of them floated all the way to the top. So they're actually not all the way in the sheet and then others are in the sheet. And the front and the back will look different. This is probably the front more floated to the top. Here's some other examples with inclusions. Beautiful sheet. This is actually has money in it. And I did an experiment with beeswax so I covered half it makes it more translucent so you can see the money a little better than this half here's another recycled sheet with beautiful inclusions and this is another recycled sheet with uh, where you can see some little pieces of magazine or newspaper cut up and this also has seeds in it so it's a plantable paper